Can Gotham Knights succeed without Batman? The success of Gotham Knights will largely depend on the willingness of gamers to play a Batman game without being able to play as Batman. WB Games Montreal is taking a big risk by excluding Batman from Gotham Knights. How the game is received will largely depend on players' willingness to spend time in a Gotham City devoid of its primary hero. When the game launches on October 21st, sales will determine if the gamble paid off and gamers will ultimately decide the fate of Gotham Knights. It can be argued that the Batman universe is so rich in characters and lore that an interesting narrative can be told without Batman. There exists a deep cast of characters from which to pull, all with their own unique stories to tell. The acclaimed film The Joker is arguably the best example of this. When it comes to gaming, however, players are much more particular than the average moviegoer. If they want to don Batman's cowl and dish out punishment in Gotham Knights, they will be sorely disappointed, and they might ask themselves, what's the point of a Batman game without Batman? Not only did WB Games Montreal exclude Batman from Gotham Knights, but they did the unspeakable. The reason he's not around is that he's dead, and it is now the responsibility of a ragtag group of protégés to pick up the pieces and defend Gotham City against an onslaught of villainous treachery and violence. The playable character lineup is intriguing, and the villains will surely be entertaining adversaries, but it remains to be seen if this is enough to convince gamers that Gotham Knights is worth their hard-earned money. Playable characters include Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing, and Red Hood. All are great characters, but in terms of popularity and recognition, they pale in comparison to Batman. Robin is perhaps the best known of the four. He has been the Dark Knight's faithful sidekick since 1940 when he appeared in DC No. 38. Batgirl is a fan favorite, but through no fault of her own, has received negative press as of late. The recent cancellation of the Batgirl movie should not affect her overall popularity, but it feels like a bad omen nonetheless. Red Hood and Nightwing are also great characters, but they are not as well known as the other two. Diehard DC fans will recognize them instantly, but casual fans will not be as familiar, and this might deter them from jumping into Gotham Knights. Conversely, like most Gotham City narratives, the villains might be worth the price of admission. The offenders in Gotham Knights include Clayface, Mr. Freeze, Harley Quinn, Penguin, and the Court of Owls. Villains have always been a main attraction in the Batman universe. They are entertaining, complex, and formidable. Fans have come to expect epic confrontations between these villains and Batman. Whether the four heroes of Gotham Knights can provide equal entertainment value remains to be seen. A lot will ride on the characters and the story that Gotham Knights spins, but ultimately, the gameplay is king. Early reception of the game has been mixed at best. Critics have not compared it kindly to recent Batman titles, most notably the Rocksteady Studio games, which include Arkham City and Arkham Asylum high watermarks in the history of Batman video games. The combat in these games is fluid, impactful, and refined. Early impressions of the Gotham Knights combat system, by comparison, have noted that it lacks the weight and fluidity of the Rocksteady releases. The graphics do not appear to be up to par for next-gen consoles, and the overall absence of polish suggests that the game requires more time in development. Gotham Knights is putting a lot of pressure on four B-list heroes that gamers may or may not be interested in playing. Batman is one of the greatest superheroes of all time arguably the greatest, so why not utilize him?